Hello and welcome to the video. In this quick video, I'd just like to give a couple of tips and tricks to how to apply vinyl style decals. Now, these are the decals that came with this model here. That's a BF109E4. This is the Durafly model that I looked at last month, and I need to put all the decals on this to finish it off so I can take it flying. It's a beautiful model that looks great without the decals, but once all the decals are on, I think you'll agree it looks an awful lot better. Now these vinyl style decals are a little bit different from ones that you may have used before so they need a slightly different approach. Now in this model they come in a couple of big sheets and hopefully if I can direct them towards the light you can see there's like a card backing but also a film over the top. Now each of these decals are already perforated but I'd recommend that you actually cut them out. Now the tips here of course is to make sure that you're doing this in a nice clean environment that the model is clean from dust just give it a wipe over with a damp cloth and particular care needs to be taken with models like this when you're applying them onto a paint finish now the paint finish on this model is pretty resilient but it won't survive lots of messing about so here's one an example that i've put underneath and as you can see it almost looks like it's part of the paint so that's what we're going to try and do with all the other decals that I want to apply. So the first thing we need to do is to actually cut out the decal that we're interested in. So you need a good sharp pair of scissors and this set is perforated. And all I'm doing here is just really cutting the transfer tape that's on top of the decal. Uh, make sure you've got a nice clean lint free cloth as well that will help press everything down. So now that we've got our decal, hopefully you can see here that we have like a transfer tape, a clear tape over the top that's designed to just put the decal in place and we're going to peel that off. You can see at the edge it's actually lifted slightly, but that's fine because it's going to come off anyway. And behind it is a very thin white card. Now if it's nice and thin, you're going to be able to peel this off pretty easily. This is pretty thick card, so I'm actually going to take this card off so having a little knife about is very handy. You uh, might need to help to get it started. And it's also handy to just keep the decal in position because the edges are the pieces that are going to lift. Once you've got the edges stuck, then the rest will come off. So the first job is to be crystal clear about where you want the decal on the wing. I find that the box art and historic photos are great for this to try and be as accurate as I possibly can. There's no marks on the wing where they need to go. So I'm eyeballing this, looking at where it looks right, looking at where the pictures from the internet and from the box art are. Now make sure before you go any further that any little stray bits of tape or anything are off your fingertips. And the first job is to remove the paper backing so that the decal, which is the actual cross piece, is held on the tape. Now don't touch the back of the decal and again make sure and this is why you have to be super clean whenever you're doing this make sure there's no dust or rubbish about because it will absolutely show up through the decal so what we need to do is very carefully trying not to touch the back of the actual decal itself at all we're going to very carefully position it onto the wing and once i'm happy with the positioning what I'm going to do is I'm going to use firm pressure from my fingertip and I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work my way out. That way any air bubbles are going to be pushed to the edges and pushed out of the decal itself. Now there is a slight air channel around the edge of the decal and the transfer tape but we're not worried about that at the moment. All we're doing is just gently working through firm pressure. The heat in your finger will also help the adhesive. We're not pressing at all on the transfer tape because if you do, then potentially as you lift the transfer tape, particularly on painted models like this, you might accidentally lift a little bit of paint too. So now we're happy that this is reasonably well stuck. Take a bit of time, particularly on the edges and the corners. Those need to be nicely adhered to the model because those are the pieces that are going to want to lift as you peel back the tape. The next job is to then very gently lift off the film. But the trick is you're going to drag it directly across the model. You're not going to lift up because that will lift up the decal as well. You're going to very gently just work your way across the decal using firm constant pressure and again if anything starts to lift on the decal just push it down with the fingertip work your way along and eventually you'll get to the other end 
and it will come undone. There is no way to rush this. You want to be pulling that film along the surface, not up, and then you should find the decal is in place. So this is now rubbish, this transfer tape. I'd recommend having a bin by the side because the table is going to be covered in bits of paper and bits of transfer tape as well and you don't want those sticking to stuff. So the last bit then is to make sure that the decal is adhered. Take particular time along the edges because that's where they're going to lift and if there's any moisture or anything that's where it's going to get underneath. So you can use a lint-free cloth like this uh, or your fingertip works really well but just take your time again working from the middle out to the edges and then push the decal into any surface moulding and it should look like it's painted on by the time you're finished. If there are any bubbles in there don't worry about it just use a little pin and just pop the bubble and then use your fingertip again to expel the air so the decal is nice and flat. But if you do it this way it should be pretty solid. So let's do another one. Let's pop this uh, cross on the side of the fuselage. This is a bit of a pro tip now. I would always recommend when you're doing it on something like this is put lots of greasy fingerprints over the bits of tape the transfer tape, not the decal itself, the transfer tape that's going to go around the edges. The reason for that is that dramatically reduces the amount of stickiness on the transfer tape and stops it from lifting the paint. Because unfortunately, if you accidentally put a bit of pressure on the transfer tape and the transfer tape adheres to the paintwork, even if you're pulling the transfer tape off at that extreme angle, it will pull a little bit of off. So that's my big tip. Make sure if you're going to use pieces like this, just put your fingerprints all over the transfer tape. That will help reduce the amount of stick so you won't have the problem. But again, exactly the same process, pulling the tape down across the fuselage, making sure that the edges are not lifting at all. I find going diagonally across pieces like this is great. Now I have a little bit of a curve under the chassis so as, as the fuselage goes underneath I'm just going to try and follow it with a tape and there's another one done. Again just using the pressure from my hand and rubbing in on the decal making sure that every single edge particularly the corners are nicely adhered and then I tend to just with a fingertip push the decal into any moulding. That way it definitely looks more like a paint application rather than a decal itself. Some pieces can be really tricky, particularly if they are long and thin. So this detail for the wing, the trick is figuring out where you want to start. And with this piece, because it is so flexible, the positioning of the bottom edge and then the positioning of the rest of the tape along the wing is really important. That now, once you've got it in place, then I'd recommend using something with a reasonably sharp but blunt tip. So I'm using the edge of the Sharpie pen to really get the decal to adhere and desperately trying to make sure that I don't apply any pressure at all to transfer tape because as I lift the transfer tape, I don't want to take off any of that paint. I just want to leave that red line behind. So last couple of pieces on here, let's put the number on. Again, when you're putting the transfer tape off, if the decal starts to lift underneath, that's fine. Just stop and put a little bit more pressure onto the decal underneath. Take your time as it comes along. And what you'll find is once you've done a couple of these, it'll start to get an awful lot easier. With this model, there were lots of spare decals because there are decals for the two types of plane, both the Desert Camo and the Battle of Britain Camo. If you've never done this before, I would just practice with decals you're not going to use, applying them onto other plastic surfaces, just getting the hang of it, because you'll find that as you go through the application, you will get faster and faster as you get more confident. But hopefully you'll agree that once all the decals are in place, it looks absolutely fantastic. So hopefully that helps those of you that have never used these kind of vinyl decals before. The trick is make sure you're doing it in a very clean environment. Cut the decal that you want out of the sheet. Remove the paper backing. I personally would put lots of thumbprints on the transfer tape around the decal to make sure that it's not going to pick up any paint. Positioning the decal in place. 
use your fingertip to then stick the decal in the center and work your way out to remove any air bubbles and then remove the transfer tape, making sure that you're pulling it along the line of the surface of the model, never pull it up. And that way you'll find that the decal will stay in place and that's just a final bit of firm pressure with your fingertips or a lint-free cloth should make sure that it's adhered perfectly to the surface. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless 360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article, or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.